Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Lulu, the Fae Sorceress. Lulu is a ranged support champion. Her suite of crowd control and buffs make her a valuable addition to any lineup. A well-played Lulu can disrupt enemy teams while empowering her own, dominating fights. Lulu's passive is Pix, Fairy Companion. Pix follows Lulu wherever she goes, and whenever Lulu lands a basic attack, Pix fires a few bolts toward Lulu's target. These bolts home in on the target and will damage the first enemy they hit. Glitter Lance fires out a line nuke from both Lulu and Pix, each damaging and slowing every enemy hit. Enemies will only take damage from one Glitter Lance, even if they are hit by both. The biggest part of Glitter Lance is its ability to slow and disrupt, so grab a point early. However, it's powerful with only one point, so max it only by level 13 or 18. Whimsy can be cast on allies or enemies. When you cast on an ally, the target gains bonus movement speed and ability power for a few seconds. Casting on an enemy will polymorph them, slowing and removing their ability to attack or cast spells for a short time. Between the buff and the polymorph, Whimsy is a must-have at low levels and is worth maxing immediately by level 9. The ability Help Picks can also be cast on either allies or enemies, and sends Picks to follow that target instead of Lulu for a few seconds. When cast on an ally, Picks grants them a damage blocking shield. Additionally, Picks will now attack that ally's target with each of their basic attacks instead of Lulu's. When cast on an enemy, Picks immediately damages and reveals that target for a short time. Picks will continue to attack your targets as normal from his new location. The power of the shield and nuke, plus the utility of moving picks around, make it require one point extremely early. If you want to buff up the shield and nuke, max it by level 9, but if you just want to use it for its utility, leave it until level 18. Wild Growth enlarges target allied champion, immediately knocking away nearby enemies. Additionally, your target is temporary given bonus health and an aura that slows all nearby enemies. Because of the power of Wild Growth, you'll want to rank it as soon as possible, at level 6, 11, and 16. Lulu is best played aggressively. From the very start of the game, I'm able to win trades against Janna and Kog'Maw by landing Glitterlance and attacking as much as possible to maximize Pix's damage. Once you've built an advantage, camp in the brush to stop them from getting any minion kills. Coordinate with your teammate, and once they move in, push for more damage. Once again, Glitter Lance and basic attacks are enough to completely dominate the fight. When casting Glitter Lance, pulling your mouse cursor close to your champion will make both lances shoot in different directions. This way, I'm able to lead both Janna and Kogma for slows, though Janna turns and runs. The slow lets us push Kogma back again and continue to dominate the lane. When playing aggressively, you want to make sure you ward your lane to watch for ganks. Here I place a ward right at the exit of their ancient golem camp, to watch for their mid lane and jungler. In close battles, target friendly attack damage carries with help picks. This way, their attack speed will increase Pix's damage, and it allows you to run around and take your time casting your abilities. Lulu assists ganks really well once she learns wild growth. Here Maokai comes into gank, so I hit him with whimsy. Once he gets into melee range, I cast Wild Growth to lock up our opponents with the knockback and slow. We fire into Janna and Kogma, picking up two kills, while Maokai ends up tanking tons of punishment without dying, thanks to Wild Growth and help picks. When your team attempts to kill Baron, save Whimsy for any potential steal attempts. Here Lee Sin comes in to steal Baron, so I tag him with Whimsy and our team turns to focus him down. We pick up the kill, and then Baron uncontested. Proper timing can crowd control important enemies for a long time. We dive into the enemy base and Maokai initiates on Janna. I target him with Wild Growth to lock up Janna. Once the stun ends, I hit her with Whimsy. Once that ends, she finally triggers Monsoon, but it comes in so late we've already gotten her and Shogath low enough to pick up two quick kills. Lulu is exceptional at saving champions in sticky situations. Here I Wild Growth myself to keep myself alive against Blitzcrank. I use Whimsy for movement speed to keep Blitzcrank and Garen from touching me, and we pick up the kill on Garen. Though Lulu is a support, I play her as a jungler. To gank, lead with Whimsy and to help picks, and then land an easy Glitter Lance. This combo will deal significant damage and pick up kills with your team. Keep staying in front of your target and move in between attacks to keep the damage up. 
For runes, I want to maximize landing harassment and late game scaling. Because of this, I take attack speed marks, flat armor seals, mana regeneration per level glyphs, and gold generation quintessences. My masteries serve the same goal of early power while growing into late game. I go 0921, focusing on armor and health and defense, plus mana regeneration, movement speed, gold, experience gain, and cooldown reduction in utility. For items, I want to power myself up for late game with the ability to support my whole team. To enable this, I open with a fairy charm plus some sight wards and health potions. I quickly upgrade for some extra gold generation with Philosopher's Stone and Heart of Gold, while also getting Ionian Boots of Lucidity. Your first major purchases should be Chalice of Harmony, Aegis of the Legion, and Shirelia's Reverie. Build into late game with Locket of the Iron Solari and Rabidon's Death Cap. On Dominion, you'll have similar build goals of ability power, cooldown reduction, and team support. Open with Ionian Boots of Lucidity and Cloth Armor. Rush as many auras as possible with Aegis of the Legion, Shirelia's Reverie, Zeke's Herald, and Will of the Ancients. Top off your build with Rabidon's Death Cap for a nice boost of ability power. Thanks for tuning in to the Lulu Champion Spotlight. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel above, and don't forget to thumbs us up just below the video.